Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Father, we thank you, God. We glorify you this evening. Oh, yeah. God. We thank you, oh God, for your Holy Ghost power. Yeah. And not only God, we thank yeah. you for everybody that's in this place yeah. oh, yes. on today. Now, yes, God, as I stand up here, I pray that yes, you move yes, just yes, totally out of the way, God. Yeah. And that the spirit of the living God will preach through me, oh God. Yes. Oh yeah. God, we just believe you tonight. We yes, believe God that there's power in your word. Oh yeah, God. yeah. I pray that the anointing will break every yoke. Yeah. God, on tonight, God. Yes. I pray that you move your spirit heavy yeah. upon this place, oh God. Yes. Touch our hearts, our minds, and our yeah. souls, oh God. And we'll be careful to give you all the praise, yes. the glory. And my honor. All right, in yes. In Jesus' name, we pray and love you. Yes. Amen. Amen. Let's Amen. give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Amen. 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 I'm Amen. happy to be here. Amen. All right. Amen. I don't Amen. know you call me old fashioned or what, but the way it is tonight, I'm hey. loving this. All right. I ain't All right. got to have no crap. I'm still excited. All right. All right. Real excited. Yes, yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Let yeah. me say that again. Real, real excited. Yeah. 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 Because God's going to do what he want to do anyway. All right. That's right. That's right. Woo! I said he already done did it. I believe yes, it. All right. All right. Amen. God is good. I'm, I'm a little excited. A while ago, I was washing my car, and I sat inside my car. I found myself shouting in the car. All right. Oh, what is going on? And all of a sudden, I just started feeling real good. And I was a little tired, but yesterday, had to preach twice. All right. God gave me strength to be here tonight. Guess all right. what? It's good to see all of y'all. All right. All right. It's always good to be home. All right. But y'all got y'all word tonight. We're going to go and get in this word. And, hey, amen. I'm going to take my time. But at the same time, I hope it ain't too much time. <laughs> Can I get a witness? All right. <laughs> all right. Genesis, the 22nd chapter. All right. Woo wee. Believe it or not, I feel God's spirit. All right. Glory. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Genesis, the 22nd chapter, verses 1 through 2. I'm just depending on the Holy Ghost tonight. All right. <clears throat> just look at somebody and say, God is good. God is good. All right, all right. All right, all right. Genesis, the 22nd chapter, verses 1 to 2. And it came to pass after these things that God did tempt Abraham. Hmm. And said unto him, Abraham... And he said, Behold, I am here. Yeah. And he said, Take now thy son, son. thy only son, son Isaac, for the second whom thou lovest, hmm. and get thee into the land of Moriah. Yeah. And offer him there for a burnt offering yeah. upon one of the mountains, which I will tell thee of. All right. And we're going to use for a subject this evening. It's a test for you. Mm. Yes, sir. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. It's a test. This. For you. I really need y'all to pray with me tonight. All right. Okay. All right. All right. It's a test. Just a test. Just a for test. You. Yeah. Notice for you, you. individually. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's a test. Uh-huh. For you. It's meant for you. Uh-huh. Oftentimes we wonder why we go through tests. Uh-huh. We wonder why we go through trials and tribulations. Uh-huh. We wonder why things seem so hard and so Difficult yeah, upon yeah. us sometimes. Yeah. All right. But let me remind you of something. Whenever God makes you a promise, all right, that He's gonna bless you. That's right. He's gonna take you higher. Yeah, he's yeah. He's gonna do great things to you. Right. You can expect some trouble. Talk, to your life. talk, talk. Some of you sitting here right now trying to figure out, God, why have I not came out of this storm? Preach, why preach. Am I still suffering, but. Guess what? You're still believing that God's going to do it. But All right. You got to keep in mind that any time, amen, we're living for God, there are going to be some tests. That's right. That's right. I remember right. being in school. I remember starting out in kindergarten, going to the 12th grade. I uh -huh. remember that. I remember in order for me to graduate, I had that to go from kindergarten to the 12th grade. Uh -huh. That's the thing God's doing in your life right now. He's taking you from grade uh -huh. to grade. Yeah, in order yeah. to graduate, you must uh -huh. remember things that you had to learn in kindergarten. All right. You had to remember things you, you learned in the first, second, third grade, and so forth. Uh -huh. When you're taking math, guess what? If you don't know how to add, you ain't going to remember how to do algebra. That, that's just the way it goes. All so right, all right. In your life, every trial and tribulation, 
that you go through, God is just preparing you to take you higher. That's the way you have to think of it. It's a uh -huh. for me, but I know God is going to bring me out of it. Yeah. Faith has to be strong. Yeah. Talk, 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 preacher. Christian life is not for the weak folk. It's, it's not for the faint. It's not for the folks who don't believe. If you don't believe, you're going to come out of it. Guess what? You're going to stay right where you are. And guess right. what's going to happen? You're going to go through the same test over and over and over and over until you get it. Guess what? I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. Yeah. You've got to realize it's just a test for you. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, sir. It's just a test because you got to keep in mind that Abraham was 75 years old uh -huh. when he answered his calling yes. to the ministry. Uh -huh. 75 years old. That My God. tells me one thing that you're never too old yeah. to do the work of the oh, Lord. So you get somebody say, I ain't old, baby, because if God would call Abraham at 75, uh -huh. Yeah, he can do it. He can do it. Yes, you ain't over till God says that it's over. Yeah, yeah. 75 years old when he answered his call to the ministry. But uh -huh. not only that, God said, Abraham, look at here. Your name is going to be great. Yeah. I'm going to bless your seeds and people going to love your name and people going to do this. And I'm just going to make a name. I'm going to bless the city because of your name. Uh -huh. That's a promise God's making right there. All right. And not only did God make Abraham that promise, but God told Abraham at the age of 75 that he was going to give him a child. I'm, I'm going to bless you with a child. My God. And Abraham, guess what? Patiently had to wait 25 years to see this promise come to pass. Walk with it. Walk with it. That's right, that's right. Preach it, Doc. Yeah, yeah. But God, you're not moving fast enough. Uh-huh. The reason God's not moving fast enough because you don't believe God's going to do it. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. The reason God has not blessed you with your promise yet because guess what? You're not ready yet. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The reason you have not went to the next level yet because you're still in the first day. All right. Walk with it. Walk with it. In the first grade, don't know how to add and subtract, but feel like you're in the 12th grade. You can't do that. You got to pass the first, second, third, and move up. Uh huh. How many of you told your kindergarten teacher, I'm ready to graduate? How many of you went to your teacher and said, I'm ready to graduate now. Just give me my cap and gown. It's the same way with God. You may think that you're ready to think, go to the next right. level, but guess what? In your mind, you think you are, but guess what? Spiritually, you're not ready to get it yet. All right. <laughs> it's a test. Yeah. For you. It's only a test for you, but if you don't mind, real quick, I want to share with you how Abraham passed this test. Uh huh. Well, Keep in mind that the Bible says that the Lord tempted. Abraham. Yeah, that's I want you to know that the word of God said that the Lord tempts no man. Uh -huh. When it speaks of temp here, it's talking about test. Uh huh. That's right. So if you're in the middle of a test right now, just keep on holding on. But tonight you're going to find out uh -huh. how to pass this test. All right. All right. The first thing that you have to do in all the pass a test. First of all, you have to hear the voice of God. Yeah, that's right. Yes. The reason some of us have not passed the test is because when God speaks, we're not listening. Uh huh. God is telling you what to do, but you're telling God I ain't ready to do that yet. That's why you uh -huh. have not passed the test. But look in the word, the first verse. When God asks Abraham name, that's what God said. Abraham said, yeah, here I am. Uh-huh. That's what he said. Here I am. In other words, when God spoke, Abraham listened. Yeah. Yeah. I 
I want the heart of the when God speak, we say yes, Lord. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. The first 